Okay, we're going to come back with another video, and today I'm going to teach you a little bit about a new unit, something called logarithms. All right, so this would take a pretty good uh, few weeks if we were in school, and um, but I'm going to have to try to slimline it in as much as I can. So um, a log, well, I'm going to give you some stuff that's in what we call log form. And we're going to convert it to exponential form. Okay. So um, the deal is, is a log is really equal to an exponent. Okay. So that means, so let's see. So I'm going to give you some examples. And then we're going to try to do a few, um, a few equations so let's give an example so i'm going to make me a two column and we're going to convert these to exponential form it's really easy um and so if i give you something like log of it's called base 4 64 equals 3 okay so this is in log form obviously duh it has the word log that's how you know it's in log form this little subscript, it's like a, it's like a, it's a small subscript, not um, an exponent, but a subscript, and that is what we call the base. Okay. Then I just told you that a log is really an exponent. So a log is equal to an exponent. So that means that the three is really the exponent. Okay. And then the sixty-four in the middle is your answer. So we're going to rewrite it in exponential form. So if you go back over here, I told you the base was 4. So you're going to do 4. The log is really an exponent. So I said 3 was your exponent. And so that means 4 to the third power is equal to your answer over here was 64. And most of you know 4 to the third power. Please remember that's not 4 times 3. That's 4 times 4 times 4, which is... 64. So that's exponential form. This is log form. Let's try um, Let's try another one. Okay, so let's try a few More so this is I should have done it another way, but I didn't so here we go. Here's another one So let's go log of base 8 2 Equals 1 third now that looks a little funky, but remember this one right here is your base the subscript and the log sorry is your that's your exponent and the two is what we call your answer so that means my base let's look back over here my base is eight my exponent is one third and that equals 8 to the 1 third. Now, most of you did pick up your calculator and did 8 to the 1 third because most of you were sitting there like, uh, duh, I don't know. But 8 to the 1 third really means a long time ago in a far, far land of Sly County High School before we got corona, um, that was, that meant the cube root. So basically, you're saying the cube root of 8, which is over here, we listed that as our answer. And that is 2. So, writing something like that is really like saying the cube root of 8. But that, so this is exponential form because you have an exponent. All right, let's try it. I'm just going to erase all this. That was going to be quicker. So, let's do another one. This is going to be log form. This is going to be exponential form. All right, let's convert it. Let's do log. Let's do one that you sort of kind of, I think, might know. So I'm going to put log of base 7, 49 equals 2. So this number right here is your 7. That is your base. This number right here is your exponent. Because you remember a log is really an exponent. So that means your base is 7. Exponent is 2. S 7 to the second power. You know that means 7 times 7. You know is 49 which is your answer right there, okay? So this is exponential form right here. This is your log form. Let's look at a couple more. Anybody got any questions? All right, good. 
thought you were catching on. All right, so here, let's do, this is log form, exponential form. So let's do one um, that doesn't look quite as normal. Log, and I'm going to put an A, and I'm going to put a C, equals B. All right, so now, this is, you can't necessarily readily see what it is, but you remember I said the subscript is your, um, is your base. So I'm going to put it over here as my base. My exponent on it is what the log is equal to. So that would be a B. And your answer here is the big thing that's right there, which is, is C. So this is what we call expon exponential form. This is log form. If we were in class, I'd go both ways, toggle kind of back and forth, but we are not in class, obviously. So I'm kind of just kind of giving you, again, this log unit could take several weeks if we were in class. And I'm trying to teach you a few highlights because I, I know some of you are going to be in college algebra one day and you're going to need um, to know some of this stuff about logs. So I'm trying to give you just a smidgen of a heads up. All right, so that's converting it. Some of your problems on your worksheets are going to be just straight out converting it. So I'm going to do one more to make sure you're not with me. And I'm going to do, let's see. So I've got log form and exponential form. So let's do one. Let's go log of base 5, 1 over 25 equals negative 2. Now, some of you are like, I don't know what all that, just remember, you ain't got to remember what all that means. You just got to know where this stuff, where to put it over here. So, my base is the 5. My exponent, exponent is the is here. That's always my exponent, so that's the negative 2. Equals, my answer is the big number right there, which is a fraction. 1 over 25. So basically that's log form and your exponential form is 5 to the negative 2 equals 1 over 25. In case you don't forget, I know most of you hadn't, don't remember from class, but the negative number there doesn't mean anything about this being negative. It just means you take the 5 and you bring it to the bottom and the 5 squared is where the 25 came from. So that's just an extra. I'm not going to charge you for that extra information. All right, so now, so what we're going to do, that's rewriting it. Most of your worksheet has got to do with just rewriting it. But then I decided I wanted you to take it one step further. And you can get a lot more complicated with some of these um, equ um, equations. So, But we're going to do some simple, simple log equations. First, you need to rewrite it to exponential. So that's the first thing we're going to do. So if you look back over here, let's focus on... Let's see, what is my base is 8, okay? Then you say, okay, that's my base. This, the log, is your exponent. So that's going to be 2 equals, that is my answer. Well, my answer, I'm going to put an x here, which most of you know that. 8 squared, please remember that's not 8 times 2. That's 8 times 8, which is going to be 64. So x is 64. All right, everybody got it? All right, good. All right, let's try another one. All right, let's try one that looks like this. If I did log base 2, 8 equals x, okay? So now, remember what I said. Let's rewrite it in exponential form first. So looking back over here, which one is my, um, which one's my base? That would be the 2. 2 is my base. Okay, so I'm going to do 2. Exponent is out there because the log is equal to the exponent. So that means 2 to the x power equals. The answer is the big number. So that would be 8. So you're looking at this and you're thinking, okay, 2 to what power would equal 8? Now, so would that be like 2 to the 1st, 2 to the 2nd, 2 to the 3rd, 2 to the 4th? And most of you might recall 2 to the 3rd equals 8. So that means x is 3. All right. Anybody got a question? I'm fixing to change slides. If you got a question, write it down. Of course, you can email me, send it on Remind. 
Um, don't Snapchat it. I don't have a Snapchat account. All right, so then let's try another one. Let's try log base 10, 3x plus 22 equals 3. Okay, let's convert it. So let's convert it first. Let's rewrite it with um, something other than this color. Let's go with this. Okay, so my base is going to be the 10. So it's 10. Exponent is to the 3. So 10 to the 3rd equals 3x plus 22. That's my answer. Okay, so now I've got 10 to the 3rd. So this is going to be, so now 10 to the 3rd, be careful, that's not 10 times 3. That's 10 times 10 times 10, which is 1,000. Is 3x plus 22. Now, last week we did some solving equations, so you're just solving for x. Few of you forgot how to do this. We're not going to get rid of the 3. We're going to get rid of the 22. Subtract 22. 22, both sides. That's going to give me about 978, I think, used to. And that's going to bring down 3x. So I got 3x equals 978. You're going to divide by 3. Divide by 3, both sides. And x should be about 326. That's your answer. All right. So, I got one more. Got one more. So, hold on. Alright. So, I got last one. It is going to be log x 27 equals 3. Okay. So, now looking back at this. This time, this subscript member is my base. So, that's x. Exponent right there is 3. So, x to the third equals. That's your answer. So that's going to go right here when you rewrite it. So you're thinking, okay, now what number to the third power is 27? What number is like, is like 1 to the third? No, because 1 to the third is 1. Let's try 2 to the third. That's 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. Nope. And that's going to be 3 to the third, which is 3 times 3 times 3. Used to be 27. I think it still is. If Corona hadn't attacked it. So that means X is 3. Because 3 to the third power equals 27. So your X is 3. That's several um, several little examples. Make sure you set up your equation and you solve it for me. If you got any questions, please let me know. I can explain it more. And I hope everybody's doing great. Got just a few more weeks. Make sure you get some credit so you can um, do well for your averages. Talk to you later.